Hi y'all, it's Coach Maggie here. Um, just want to say that I miss you all so much and that I hope you're safe, and that you're doing well, and that you're behaving for your parents, and you're being nice to your siblings if you have any. Um, I hope that you're still keeping up with your workouts. Um, I was going to do a workout video for y'all, but I know that Coach Jamie, Coach Allie, Coach Brittany have given you so many things to do at home and just a lot of different workouts and conditioning. So keep doing those so that when you get back to gym, you're ready to go. So instead of doing a workout video, I decided to do an art video for you guys. So I'm gonna teach you how to draw a silhouette of a gymnast. So this is an example of what we're gonna do. Um, I did this on a canvas and I used paint, but the one I'm gonna show you today, I'm just gonna sketch it in my, um, in my sketchbook. So it is two dimensional as you can see. So it sh hopefully it shouldn't be too hard for y'all. Um, the background I did is just basic, just gray and white. If you want to do a background, do the background first, um, but make sure it's not too dark so that the black can go over it. Um, yeah, and also get all of your supplies together and what you're gonna need. So either get a canvas or a piece of paper or whatever you want to use. Um, and you're gonna need a ruler or if you don't have a ruler, just like the spine of a book would work too. Um, a pencil and make sure it's pretty sharp. You don't want it to be dull. Um, and then I have a couple of pens, like gel pens or felt tip pens that have like the really, really tiny like tip at the top. Um, a Sharpie or colored pencils, crowns, markers. Whatever you want to use, you can do it however you want. Um, yeah, and an eraser, always an eraser, just in case you need to um, erase some lines because it happens and I have to erase a lot of lines sometimes. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what to do, so let's get started. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you what to do now. When you're drawing your base lines, don't press too hard into the paper because then if you go to, when you go to erase the base lines, you'll still be able to see it or it'll leave an intention for where it was and you don't want to do that. So it's a thing. Take your ruler, okay? Um, you start from, start not exactly in the middle of your paper, but almost in the middle of your paper or canvas or whatever you're doing it on. Line it up and then start from the one inch line going all the way down to the seven and a half inch line. Okay, and you make sure you make it super light. You probably can't even see it, but it's just a really, really light line. Um, now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, this line doesn't have to be straight, so you don't have to use your ruler for this one. You're just gonna make, in the middle of the, um, the bottom line you did, you're just gonna make a basic line, okay? Then, um, Then you're gonna take the line, you need to do a curved line that'll go straight down. Then you're gonna, from the, from where you started that other, cur the curved line right here, you're gonna make it go down straight at an angle and then straight all the way down. So this is your baseline. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top of the line that's pointing up. So you're gonna make, make it turn out just a little bit. Then you're gonna do just a little squiggly line like that. It's gonna go in just a little bit and then you're gonna make it go out just a little bit and then back in just a tiny bit. 
then it's gonna go back out all the way down now this line you don't have to adjust too much all you're gonna do is in the middle where the line went in you're gonna make it go out and then make it go out again So there's your first leg. Then we're into the next leg. So what you're gonna do is you're going to almost directly under the leg you just did. You're gonna leave a little space. You're just going to make like a half of a circle. Okay, and then you're gonna make it come, you're gonna draw another line that kind of curves out comes back in, goes back out, and back in. Okay, and then again with the top line, you only have to adjust just a little bit. Make it come out a little bit, make it knee come out a little bit, and back in. Okay, now you're gonna take, you're gonna draw a line from this half circle line, the other end, you're going to draw just a curved line that goes down. Not all the way. You want it to stop about right there. Okay, then you're going to, like right near where you just stopped this other curved line, you're going to just make a little curve that goes outward. And you're going to go from the bottom. Bring it out a little bit and bring it up so that is the gymnast arm then you're just going to do a little circle and again it doesn't have to be perfect just this basic circle then you're going to make almost kind of like a sideways triangle shape it's just going to go down like that and then for the hand it's going to go up then down to the beam then here i just draw like a little ponytail for her hair And there you have it. So now what I would do is take a really, really thin pen or marker, something that's really, really, really tiny. And you're gonna do like a really small outline over the pencil. Now that you've done your outline, you're just going to erase all of your baselines. Oh, I didn't draw that part, sorry. <laughs> okay. So there is your gymnast. Now, since I was doing as a silhouette I would then take like a marker or a colored pencil or a crown whatever you want and <clears throat> just color it in all the way black um, I'm just gonna use a sharpie and then just make the whole thing black okay so the thing about sharpie though is if you color it in with a sharpie or a marker make sure you're really really careful because we use a really thin pen and the sharpie's thicker so it'll it could ruin the proportions and make it bleed a little bit more so be really careful or just go ahead and color it all the way back all the way in with a black pen um so now we're going to do the beam so you already had that basic baseline the first line we did that's going to be the beam. And since we're doing everything 2D and two-dimensional, it's just going to be some lines, really basic. So take your ruler and right underneath 
the baseline that you already did. You're just going to draw another line going from one inch down to seven and a half, just like last time. Okay, and then you're just gonna line it back up on the sides. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter. You're just gonna make a line to connect it. And then <clears throat> at an angle, starting from the corner of the beam, line it up, actually on this side actually, line it up at the zero mark and just draw a line straight down. And then on the other side, just line it up from the very corner of the beam and draw another line going down to make the triangle shape. And the same thing on the other side. There you go. And then you're just going to line the ruler down at the bottom. Um, if you line it up, at let's say the middle of the ruler i have a 12 inch ruler so if i line it up at the six inch line um i would go from five inches to seven inches so five seven messed up just a little bit okay then we're going to just do it all black so again just take your marker or your pen or whatever and just fill it in Now that I got it outlined, I would go in and just fill it in. Again, I'm just going to use a Sharpie. Um, if, your line, if your lines get a little wobbly, it's okay. Just try to make it as straight as possible and just fill it in. And there you go. I went and made these lines a little bit thicker with my Sharpie, but you can leave them if you want. Then I'm just gonna go back in and erase any little lines that might still be visible. Okay. There is your gymnast. Um, you can put in a background if you wanted. I mean, you can put your name on it, like just do whatever you want with it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is your gymnast. I hope that I explained it good enough and that you understand. Um, but yeah, just make sure you do your pencil really light. So if you need to erase and redo it, it won't be as noticeable. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed drawing your gymnast. I hope it turned out really well. Uh, have your parents send me pictures of your gymnasts because I would really love to see them and um, also let me know if you want me to do another one of these and we can draw something else and also let me know what you want to learn how to draw and I can see if I can teach you guys how to draw it. So again, I miss you all so much. Stay safe, wash your hands like 20 times a day and keep doing your workouts and be good for your parents. I hopefully will see you guys soon. Miss you all so much. So have, have a good rest of quarantine. Bye guys.